Hi, I'm Lisa Ryan, Chief Appreciation Strategist at Gratigy. Welcome to day 12 of your five thank yous a day gratitude challenge. Steve Jobs once said, you have to trust in something, your gut, destiny, life, karma, whatever. This practice has never let me down and it has made all the difference. Do you trust yourself? Do you trust your inner guidance? Because so often we're so busy with everything else that we have going on that we don't take the time to listen to what's going on with us. We are so blessed with that inner guidance, that intuition. If we just take a couple moments each day and when we're facing a challenge in life to think about how we can look at this a little bit better. There's a practice in heart math that is called the freeze frame technique. So say that you're going through a period of stress right now and you just can't deal with it. You need to change your perspective. Here's a short exercise that you can do to physically start to change your state and get back to a point of mental positivity. So first of all, what you're going to do is close your eyes and put your hand on your heart. And as your hand is there, start to feel your breath coming in and out of your heart. You're breathing in, it's coming in through your heart, breathing out, it's being released through your heart. Really focus on that heart area. Now when you're there, think about a time in your life that you were so profoundly grateful, that you were joyful, that you were passionate about something. Maybe it's the first time that you held your child or when you looked into the eyes of your beloved. Maybe it's when you graduated from college or your kids did. Go there to that one moment and really experience those positive emotions. Feel it as if you were still there. And as you're breathing and concentrating on that positivity, whatever it was that was just frustrating you, ask yourself, ask your heart, how you can look at that situation differently. And then pause and listen. When we trust ourselves, when we take the time to go into the silence, to listen to our inner wisdom, we found, find that it can make a profound difference in every area of our life. Another way that we can express our profound appreciation to others is to write a letter of appreciation to someone that needs to hear from you. So maybe when you're going to your heart center, instead of thinking about something that's frustrating you and working it that way, Think about somebody that needs to hear from you today and write them a letter letting them know the difference that they are making in your life. When you express appreciation verbally to someone, you create a beautiful memory. But when you write it down, you create a treasure. So today, think about the treasure that you can create to make a difference in someone else's life. I appreciate you. Have a fabulous day. Let's do it again tomorrow. And let's remember to be grateful.